Q. What do cats eat for breakfast? A. Uh, mice crispies. A kid walks up to his mom and asks, Mom, can I go bungee jumping? The mom says no, you were born from broken rubber and I don't want you to go out the same way. There is a senior citizen driving on the highway. His wife calls him on his cell phone and in a worried voice says, Herman, be careful. I just heard on the radio that there is a madman driving the wrong way on Route 280. Herman says, I know, but there isn't just one, there are hundreds. Q, what do you get when you cross a fish and an elephant? A, uh, swimming trunks. Q, what happens once in a minute and twice in a moment but never in a decade? A, uh, the letter M. Why did the chicken cross the playground? To get to the other slide. Q. What is the color of the wind? A. Uh, blue. A little girl and her older brother were visiting their grandfather's farm. The older brother decided to play a trick on his younger sister. He told her that he discovered a man-eating chicken. The girl was frightened and ran inside in fear. Then the older brother heard his little sister scream. He ran inside immediately. She was screaming at their grandfather, who was chowing down on a plate of fried chicken. What is it? He asked. The sister turned to him in fear and said it it's it's a man eating chicken. A young man goes into a drug store to buy condoms. The pharmacist tells him that the condoms come in packs of three, nine, or twelve and asks which ones the young man wants. Well he says, I've been seeing this girl for a while and she's really hot. I want the condoms because I think tonight's the night. We're having dinner with her parents and then we're going out. Once she's had me, she'll want me all the time, so you'd better give me the twelve pack. The young man makes his purchase and leaves. Later that evening, he sits down to dinner with his girlfriend and her parents. He asks if he may give the blessing and they agree. He begins the prayer, but continues praying for several minutes. The girl leans over and says, You never told me that you were such a religious person. He leans over to her and says, You never told me that your father is a pharmacist. A child goes to his father and asks, Father, how do parents think of names for their children? The father answers, Well, son, the night before the mother gives birth, the father goes into the woods and camps for the night. When he wakes the following morning, the first thing he sees is what he names his child, which is why your sister is named Soaring Eagle. Why do you ask, Bear Poop? Q. Why do Jewish mothers make great parole officers? Uh, they never let anyone finish a sentence. Little Johnny likes to gamble. One day, his dad gets a new job, so his family has to move to a new city. Johnny's dad thinks, I'll get a head start on Johnny's gambling. He calls the teacher and says, my son Johnny will be starting your class tomorrow, but he likes to gamble, so you'll have to keep an eye on him. The teacher says, okay because she can handle it. The next day, Johnny walks into class and hands the teacher an apple and says, Hi, my name is Johnny. She says, Yes, I know who you are. Johnny smiles and says, I bet you ten dollars you've got a mole on your butt. The teacher thinks that she will break his little gambling problem, so she takes him up on the bet. She pulls her pants down shows him her butt, and there is no mole. That afternoon, Johnny goes home and tells his dad that he lost $10 to the teacher and explains why. His dad calls the teacher and says, Johnny said that he bet you that you had a mole on your butt and he lost. The teacher says, yeah, and I think I broke his gambling problem. Johnny's dad laughs and says, no you didn't. He bet me $100 this morning that he'd see your ass before the day was over. Son, Dad, 
when will I be old enough so I don't have to ask mom for her permission to go out? Dad, son, even I haven't grown old enough to go out without her permission. A man tells his wife, honey, your mom fell down the stairs 15 minutes ago. The wife yells at him, why are you just telling me now? He said, because I couldn't stop laughing. A man called his child's doctor, hello. My son just snatched my pen when I was writing and swallowed it. What should I do? The doctor replied, until I can come over, write with another pen. A seven-year-old and a four-year-old are in their bedroom. You know what? Says the seven-year-old, I think it's time we started swearing. When we go downstairs for breakfast, I'll swear first, then you. Okay replies the four-year-old. In the kitchen, when the mother asks the seven-year-old what he wants for breakfast, he answers, I'll have cocoa pops, bitch. Asterisk whack asterisk he goes flying out of his chair, crying his eyes out. The mother looks at the four-year-old and sternly asks, and what do you want? Dunno he replies, but it won't be fucking cocoa pops. Q. What can you give and keep at the same time? A. Uh, a cold. I want to die peacefully in my sleep, like my grandfather. Not screaming and yelling like the passengers in his car. Q. What's a shark's favorite sandwich? A. Uh, peanut butter and jellyfish. A husband and wife have four boys. The odd part of it is that the older three have red hair, light skin, and are tall, while the youngest son has black hair, dark eyes, and is short. The father eventually takes ill and is lying on his deathbed when he turns to his wife and says, Honey, before I die, be completely honest with me. Is our youngest son my child? The wife replies, I swear on everything that's holy that he is your son. With that, the husband passes away. The wife then mutters, thank God he didn't ask about the other three. A mom and a son come home from the grocery store. The boy immediately empties out a box of animal crackers and the mom asks him why. The boy says, you should not eat it if the seal is broken, so I'm looking for the seal. Q. Why did the apple run away? A. Uh, because the banana split. Three brothers wanted to give their blind mom a birthday gift. The first got her a big beautiful house. The second got her a brand new luxury vehicle with a driver. The third got her a talking parrot to keep her company. When they all got together, they wanted to know which gift she liked best. She said they were all great but she thanked her third son because she liked the chicken dinner best. A doctor tells an old couple at his office he needs to get a stool sample, a urine sample, and a blood test from the old man. Hard of hearing, the old man asks his wife what the doctor said. The wife replies, he needs a pair of your underwear. It was a baby mosquito's first day to fly out from home. When the mosquito came back home later that day, the father mosquito asked, how was your journey? The baby mosquito replied, it went great. Everyone was clapping for me. Q, why didn't the sailors play cards? A, uh, because the captain was on the deck. Three old friends got together and were discussing what movie they had watched when they conceived their children. One lady says she had just watched a movie called The Search for One Eye Jimmy and nine months later she gave birth to her baby. Another lady says, oh, I saw the movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and then nine months later I had septuplets. The last lady gasps and exclaims, oh no, I just watched 101 Dalmatians. Johnny, why did you kick your brother in the stomach? exclaimed the angry mother. It was pure accident, Mama. He turned around. Q, why did the runner stop listening to music? A, uh, 
because she broke too many records. A kid asks his dad, what's a man? The dad says, a man is someone who is responsible and cares for their family. The kid says, I hope one day I can be a man just like mom. Q. What did the pop star do when he locked himself out? A. Uh, he sang until he found the right key. Q. Why shouldn't you give Elsa a balloon? A. Uh, because she'll let it go. A teacher asks, what's the difference between a problem and a challenge? A student responds, three boys plus one girl equals problem. One boy plus three girls equals challenge. A guy walks into a bar and says to the barman, give me six double vodkas. The barman says, wow, you must have had one hell of a day. Yeah, I just found out my oldest son is gay. The next day, the same guy comes into the bar and asks for six more double vodkas. When the bartender asks what's wrong, the man says, I just found out that my youngest son is gay, too. On the third day, the guy comes into the bar and orders another six double vodkas. The bartender says, Jesus. Doesn't anybody in your family like women? The man downs the first drink and shakes his head, yeah, my wife. Q, what did the mama cow say to the baby cow? Uh, it's pasture bedtime. A hillbilly family's only son saves up money to go to college. After about three years, he comes back home. They are sitting around the dinner table, when the dad says, Well son, you done gone to college, so you must be pretty smart. Why don't you speak some math for us? Okay, pa the son then says, pi r squared after a moment, the dad says, why son, they ain't teached you nothing. Pi r round, cornbread r square. What's Harry Potter's way to get to the bottom of a hill? Running, JK. Rolling. Q, did you hear about the kidnapping at school? Oh, uh, it's okay. He woke up. A boy was going through his grandmother's wallet one night and found her ID card. Grandma. He asked how much do you weigh? His grandmother replied, that's not an appropriate question, Jimmy he then asked, how old are you? She again replied, that's not appropriate, Jimmy. Finally he asked, Grandma, why did Grandpa leave you? Before she had time to answer, Jimmy looked at the card and said, Oh I see, it's because you got an F in sex. Q, what did the beaver say to the tree? Oh, it's been nice gnawing you. Traveling through the country, an old couple drives into a gas station. The attendant asks the old man, where you folks from? I know everybody in this town. The old man says, we're from Nebraska. Hard of hearing, the old lady nudges her husband, what did he say, Papa? The old man answers her, he asked us where we are from. Oh replies the old woman. The old man tells the attendant to fill up the tank and check the tires. When that's all done, the attendant tells the old man, you know, the worst piece of arse I ever had was from Nebraska. The old lady nudges her husband once more and asks, what did he say, Papa? The husband replies, he thinks he knows you, Mama. Two guys are sitting on a bar stool. One starts to insult the other one. He screams, I slept with your mother. The bar gets quiet as everyone listens to see what the other man will do. The first again yells, I slept with your mother. The other man says, go home, dad. You're drunk. A, uh, why does your nose run? B, because it can't walk. When I was young, I used to eat a lot because my parents told me that fat kids are harder to kidnap. Little Johnny's new baby brother is screaming up a storm. He asks his mom, where'd we get him? His mother replies, he came from heaven, Johnny. Johnny says, 
well. I can see why they threw him out. A little boy gets a toy plane. The boy loves his plane. He flies it all over the house. One day, the boy is in the living room with his plane while his mom is in the kitchen washing dishes. She listens to the boy playing and hears him say, vroom, vroom, vroom. All you motherfucking people want to get on, get on. All you motherfucking people want to get off, get off. Angry, his mom rushes into the living room, takes the plane away, and sends him into his room. After 15 minutes, she starts to feel bad and tells the boy, if you don't use that kind of language, you can play with your plane. The boy returns to the living room, his mom to the kitchen. She listens again to the boy playing, she hears him say, vroom, vroom, vroom. All you very nice people want to get on, get on. All you very nice people want to get off, get off. If you have a problem with 15 minute delay, you can go talk to the bitch in the kitchen. Q, what do you call the child of parents from Iceland and Cuba? A, uh, an ice cube. A married couple, Harry and Esther, are out shopping one morning when Esther says, Darling, it's my mother's birthday tomorrow. What shall we buy for her? She said she would like something electric. Harry replies, how about a chair? Q. What's an astronaut's favorite social media website? Have you heard the story of the magic sandwich? Never mind, it's just a bunch of bologna. Son, Dad, there is someone at the door to collect donations for a community swimming pool. Father, okay, give him a glass of water. Doctor, my nose is 11 inches long. Come back when it grows into a foot. A fourth grade teacher asks the class, have any of you ever saved somebody's life? A little boy raises his hand, yes, my little nephews. Wow, what a little hero you are. How did you do that, sweetie? Asks the teacher. The little guy replies, I hid my sister's birth control pills. A boy went home from school. His homework was to put down the things his family said. So he goes to his mother who was talking on the phone. The boy asked mum, can you help me do my homework? The mother says shut up. And goes back talking on the phone. The boy wrote that down. He then went to his father watching a football commercial saying hell yeah. So the boy wrote that down. The boy went to his little sister and his sister said lollipop, lollipop. So the boy wrote that down. The boy went to his little brother and the brother said dun dun nun nun nun, Batman. So the boy wrote that down. The next day, the boy went to school and the teacher said so what are the words? The boy said shut up. The teacher, shocked, calmly said do you want to go to the principal's office? The boy said hell yeah. So at the principal's office, the principal said what do you think you deserve in this situation? The boy said lollipop lollipop. The principal yelled who do you think you are? And the boy said dun nun 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 you, Batman. The bride, upon her engagement, goes to her mother and says, I found a man just like father. Her mother replies. So what do you want from me, sympathy? Ben, Dad, there is a hole in my shoe. Dad, yes, Ben, that's where you put your foot. Q. What do you call a fly without wings? A. Uh, a walk. A girl asks her father, why does it rain? Is it God sweating or crying? No, says her father, it rains to make the plants grow. Do you understand? Not exactly says the girl. Why does it rain on the sidewalk? An old man and his wife went to the doctor for a checkup. While the man is with the doctor, the doctor asks him, so how has life been treating you? The old man replies, the Lord's been good to me.
Every night when I go to the bathroom, he turns the light on and when I'm finished, he turns the light off. While the old woman is with the doctor, the doctor told her what her husband said. She replied, damn it. The old fart's been pissing in the icebox again. Two antennas got married. The marriage was horrible, but the service was great.